What's going on, Xanderverse? It's your boy Xander Wynn here, the Dreadlock Nerd. Welcome back to TXI. Here we have another reaction video for another death battle. This time we have Sub Zero versus Glacius, Mortal Kombat versus Killer Instinct, which I think is a game that we're probably not ever going to get, but one can dream, can't we? So let's check this out. I've already, as always, I've already watched the preliminary information junkets, so let's just get right into the death battle. If I had the glass, I guess I'd say Glacius might take this one. That's what my thinking is. Oh. I should have known. Hmm. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Well, I was wrong. The theme and all, but that was just ice cold. Glacius and Sub Zero seemed to be a near match in terms of cryomantic abilities, but it was Sub Zero who had the training and the power to bring Glacius down. Sub-Zero has fought ninjas, robot ninjas, secret agents, movie stars, gods, and even fellow ice warriors. Glacius really didn't have anything Subby hadn't seen before. And while their speed was fairly similar, Sub-Zero's impressive reflexes and ninja-like skills gave him one of the most important edges in this fight. Mm. He could maneuver around Glacius' keepaway strategy, and his teleportation kept him a step ahead, even able to avoid Glacius' liquid form. And while Glacius did possess a minor form of telepathy, there's no evidence to suggest that it was used for anything other than direct communication. Sub-Zero mm -hmm. could take a lot of hits, so he wasn't going down easy. But if you put their defenses side by side, Glacius' ice armor does seem better. But it really didn't matter because subs could just chop right through it. Sub-Zero could shatter titanium statues in mm -hmm. a single blow, a feat which mm -hmm. requires at minimum 63,000 pounds of force per square inch. And titanium is obviously tougher than ice. Assuming Glacius' shell is composed of blue ice, the purest and toughest form ice can take, oh. it would still only take at most 57,000 pounds of force per square inch to crack his entire body in half. And he didn't even need to go that far. Just get to the squishy insides in the middle. Yeah. I guess you could say that Glacius had his expectations shattered. The winner is Sub-Zero. You know what? That makes logical sense. Hey, I'm Ben. I play Wiz. I'm about to show you the matchup for the next death battle. And after that, please click that button over there to try first membership and see the next episode before anybody else. Thanks for watching. Who's next? Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Android 18 versus Captain Marvel. That should be very interesting. Um. Right off the bat, if I had to pick, I, I'm just going to say Android 18 because I know Android 18 more than I know Captain Marvel. I don't know the extent of Captain Marvel's powers, you know, so, but considering the fact, considering who Android 18 has gone up against, I don't know. I mean... You know what? Let me just take that back. I, I, that's that's going to be an open-ended one. I I won't know until it comes out. 
So that's pretty much what I'll have to do. I'll have to wait until it comes out to make a, or just to see. I won't really make a choice because I only know about Android 18. I only, I only know what she can do. Captain Marvel, I don't know what she can do. So I'll have to do some research on her to figure it out. But I, I, I think the reason why I picked Glacius to win against Sub Zero is because the way he, I mean, granted, yes, Sub Zero has crawmancing powers, but. You know, Glacius has adapted ice into his being. So I guess that kind of... That's what kind of did it for me. But I tend to forget that Sub-Zero can teleport. And the reason why I forget that Sub-Zero can teleport is because the only game he's done it in was Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. He doesn't do it in MK9. As far as I remember, he doesn't do it in MK9. And he doesn't do it in MKX. He doesn't use a teleport technique in the game. Again, as far as I know, I haven't played MK9 in a minute, and I haven't played MKX in a minute, but if I'm correct, the only time, or the only game, he's had the teleport, the uh, ice teleport technique is in Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Correct me in the comment section below, but I, I really wholeheartedly believe that's the only game he had a technique in. Mortal Kombat 9, Mortal Kombat X, and all the other Mortal Kombat's before that, he never had that te teleport technique. So, like I said, I don't know if that's something they're going to maybe include in the next Mortal Kombat game. I think we're all done with DLC packs for Mortal Kombat X right now. Mortal Kombat XL to be exact. I don't know. Maybe they'll fix a patch and they'll include it in there. But as far as it stands, he doesn't have it. So that's why I thought Glaciers was going to take the win. But and in any case, most Mortal Kombat winners, Mortal Kombat fighters tend to win these things. I believe some Sub-Zero, I mean, I believe Sonya beat Cammy. Shao Kahn beat M. Bison, which I knew was going to happen. I just knew that was going to happen. I think the only one who did not win might have been Shang Tsung. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure he beat Akuma. I got to go back and watch it again. But, you know, again, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. So, post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this death battle between Sub-Zero and Glacius. If you enjoyed my reaction, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Share this video with all your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Joe Lockner out. Peace.